Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I am Dionysius Diamandopoulos, coming from, from IBM uh, Research Lab in Zurich. And I'm going to present uh, our work regarding transprecision computing. It is about a project that a lot of people are working on. Uh, so uh, probably uh, a lot of people here who do like the blue color, but uh, my story is start starting a little bit dark. And uh, it is a lot of dark. It is 91% dark. And it is actually what is the dark silicon area of our chips today at 11 nanometers technology node. And uh, this comes from the fact that we cannot power up all our transistors. Probably you know about that uh, simultaneously because we're going to uh, overpass the thermal design power of our chips. So one solution to fight this problem, of course, there are a lot of solutions out there. But one of them is approximate computing. And approximate computing is a technique that we are using and allows us to, let's say, if we have our computational progress and uh, on the horizontal axis and uh, uh, the machine precision on the vertical one, uh, the trans uh, the, the uh, the, this is the traditional computing as we know it. And uh, approximate computing is allows for uh, decreasing the uh, precision over the computational progress at a specific level so that we can gain energy from that fact. Um, one limitation on that is that it, it is targeting only uh, specific problems and uh, approximation is introduced onto selected routines. Uh, typically this leads to a loss of the final result uh, of the quality loss and there is usually no error bound on this, on this uh, kind of uh, uh, approach. So we are introducing a different computing paradigm named uh, transprecision computing which is so I'm just showing here the, uh, the overview of our work, and tomorrow I will get into more details. Uh, the idea is that uh, we keep the precision uh, across the computational progress to the specific levels that we do uh, and can uh, tolerate. This allows for more fine-grain uh, precision adaptation over the progress, and uh, uh, the differentiator from approximate computing is that we're using adapting, adaptive precision calibration and uh, we also uh, use some stopping adaptive stopping criteria when a specific precision is, uh, is being met. And also we introduce recovery accuracy mechanisms by the end of the calculation. Um, now, uh, this is uh, the whole idea of the project. We do not uh, create just one architecture or just one library, but we are, uh, we are uh, visiting the whole, the complete computing stack from the physical foundations and the mathematical theory at the bottom level uh, to the algorithms at the upper level. So we are introducing trust precision concepts, libraries, hardware, software, compiler support for all over the computing stack, as we know it. And we prove that this is working. We're we'll going to show that this is working for a bunch of applications from HPC and simulations, big data, and deep learning. Uh, the target of this project is to create two different, uh, let's say, um, architectures. One targeting the milliwatt space, so IoT domain, and one other, one other the high performance computing. Uh, how we build this? The basic architecture is our Power 8 systems uh, coupled with processors specifically designed to accommodate for and introduce uh, trans precision. Uh, we are using for this the PULP, uh, the PULP system, which is uh, developed by ETH uh, in Zurich and, and University of Bologna. And um, it is providing several features to add the transprecision concept. Uh, we couple this thing together with our Power8 systems over uh, the coherent bus, the CapiLink. And um, our goal is to uh, build up an, a high performance computing system out of this architecture supporting transprecision capabilities. Uh, so spoiler alert, uh, here uh, the PAL project is, uh, has already shown uh, uh, and designed over 20 pulp uh, based ASICs already. And uh, you can find more information here. Um, now, how we build this infrastructure as a total? Uh, up to now, we have uh, managed to build our first version of this, of this system. A coupling together open power ecosystem, which is providing our high perf performance computing nodes like Power, power 8 and Power 9 platforms, and also the services for cloud computing. And we combine it with the technology developed under the OPRICOM project, 
uh, and in is introducing trans-precision capabilities. Now, uh, this is our first prototyping system uh, composed of Power 8 device and, and, uh, and FP FPGA card. Uh, uh, the FPGA card is uh, having this PAL processor over here. And um, as you can see, we are developing three different uh, uh, mm -hmm. three, uh, environments for, for building up this, this framework here. The cloud development kit, the software development kit, and the hardware development kit al that allows us to uh, quickly deploy instances of trans-precision processors, pulp-based processors on the FPGA, couple them to our open power uh, system, and create a virtual images and, and uh, um, uh, uh, Docker images on, on top of the uh, super vessel environment, so on the cloud, and offer them on the cloud. Uh, so the first version of our system is this one, uh, a Power8 Minsky node. With, uh, we have tested both two devices, KU3 and 8KU, and we've managed to load uh, two clusters of pulp on the KU3, four on the 8KU, uh, up to 50 MHz right now, but we're developing uh, and we're targeting more, uh, 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 more speed uh, of our power clusters. And um, our uh, second version is currently under development. Uh, here is the Power 9 machine that we have in Zurich Lab and the um, uh, 9v3 uh, uh, card um, uh, with copy and open copy support. This is the image from actually previous week that we've managed to uh, take the Acron cards and uh, connect them with the open copy, open copy link. So we're working on, on developing this version as well. Uh, so, uh, well, we, ha we are testing a lot of different applications, as I said, from HPC, big data, and, and uh, neural networks. This is just one example that we've uh, designed so far with, uh, uh, with the use of SNAP tool. And uh, we've managed to map a specific neural network accelerator for the BLSTM, which stands, uh, it is a recurrent neural network. Uh, it is a memory bound application. And uh, with CAPI 1 version, you can see that it scales really well according, uh, you can add as many accelerators as the FPGA can, can host. But with four accelerators, we're reaching uh, the 96% of the block RAMs. Um, and uh, we've managed to measure up to 22 fold energy efficiency uh, compared to CPU. Uh, using the threads of power 8 and uh, 2.4 energy efficiency compared to high-end GPUs. So, so we've compared with uh, P100 uh, using uh, the half uh, data type. So the first results are really promising and we are uh, mapping other applications as well. So just the takeaway message, uh, we are developing uh, inside this project uh, a first full trans-precision framework. Uh, and um, it is we 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 expect to be the open uh, completely open. Uh, every technology that we're developing is released under a patch license. Uh, more details can be provided tomorrow. Uh, so uh, we have a lot of tasks that we're currently uh, working on. I will get into more details tomorrow. But uh, of course, there are other aspects that I didn't mention at all, as the work that we're doing on compiler to support the trans precision because trans precision and different or mixed precision is okay, but how can you just prov give the ability to the developers to really easily adapt the precision at runtime? So we're providing compiler support for that. And uh, such other things such as uh, trans-precision DRAM controllers and other, other things. So um, there is a lot of uh, room of there. So uh, if you are working on uh, mixed precision on, or you have ideas on that, we will be really very happy to, to collaborate on this project. And uh, you can visit this, uh, this site. Uh, also, we have pushed uh, stable versions of our software, like some libraries that are providing arbitrary precision support uh, for, for floating point or BLAST as well, linear algebra on the GitHub, and you can also visit uh, the site over there. A lot of people are working on this project uh, from, from different expertise and different domains. Uh, as I said, we're revisiting the complete computing stack, so this is the complete consortium. And uh, this is all from my side. Thanks a lot for your attention, and uh, yep, yeah, this is all.